Okay. I'm going to try this again. I had a low network connection um, before, and I wanted to share this message last week. I'm Pamela Hunter, and I'm continuing the message of the journey on Love On Adventure of rolling out my challenges that happened to me. Now, eight years ago, it all started, and some of you have been watching this journey with me, and I really appreciate it. Um, you saw the post, I hope, of that atrocious picture of me, the before of what I looked like in my height of shape, and then the after of the Shrek face. Those sores I had on my face were all over my body. I could toot a tune. I um, felt like I was gonna lose it if I moved. Hi, mama. <laughs> if I moved and I called my doctor and said, oh my gosh, this one dose of this medicine. And you saw the post, hopefully. If not, go to my profile. But what I wanna say to you about that is that that didn't happen to me um, just like snap. There's something that triggered it and I didn't know why and the rest of my body was completely healthy. But when I started having this challenge of losing vision and having these iritis and scleritis and uveitis, all these inflammatory issues in my eyesight, I had traveled all over the place so I knew there was something, you know, as some of my mentors would say, you picked up a hitchhiker somewhere. And they kept testing my body and everything was healthy, probably because of all the healthy tools I was already using in my life, right? Like knowing what supplements to take, knowing the holistic. I already had a holistic team of five different holistic practitioners that I saw on a regular basis. So the why was absolutely like debilitating of trying to figure out why, why, why. And I couldn't let that go. But I want you to know the journey was trusting the medical doctors. I just was sitting on a plane coming back from Miami this week from a, be a, a really nice gentleman that's um, an attorney, a professional man, and we started talking and the plane you know, was really cold because we came from 80, 90 degree weather at the Bears game, sweating, sweating, sweating. We all changed clothes, thank goodness, or we would have smelled to high heaven. And we were cold on the flight because the weather was changing as we got closer and closer to Chicago. And I made the comment, I said, wow, I really gotta move my joints while I'm sitting here. And I was in the middle seat between my husband and this gentleman. And I started doing my self-care movements. And he goes, do you mind if I follow you? Do you mind if I do this with you? And I, I was like, yes, go for it. And he said, you got joint stuff? And I said, well, I don't now, but I make sure I keep them moving. And I said, I've, I've been through it. And he said, he looked at me and he goes, methotrexate? And I go, no, that didn't work for me. And I said, in fact, you want to see the picture of me when I was on that? And he, I said, is it working for you? And he said, yeah, it's great. And I said, good for you. I'm so glad you are not experiencing the side effects and it's working for you. And he said, yeah, I don't know what I'd do without it. And I wanna make that point that some people can really get help from pharmaceuticals. And then there's others of us that they don't help in the same way. And maybe it's just a few of them, I don't know. At this point, I don't like to try multiple ones unless I absolutely have to, but I, there is a place for medicine. So you saw that picture of me. I wanna make this quick. You saw that picture of me. It's not that I stopped taking medication, I tried. I stopped the methotrexate and the oral steroids, but we needed to find a solution. And I was already seeing a hormone specialist that was an MD that many of you know. My hormones, we balanced those. We got, or optimized my hormones, I like to say. We got those all in check. I even had, and I'm gonna get really vulnerable with you right now. Are you ready for this? I have a hole. I have a missing tooth. Do you see it? My mom and dad are probably like, what is she doing showing this? I have a missing tooth that I never got an implant on because you know why I got that missing tooth? Because I tried anything and everything to try to figure out why I was having this eye issue and I had this pain off and on in my jaw. And I went to a holistic dentist, the same dentist that Mercola sees, Dr. Lena Garcia, who's phenomenal in Barrington, Illinois. 
and she said, do you have any root canals? And she said, right there. And she popped the cap off my root canal and it was oozing green goo, green goo. And that green goo, when you have a root canal, goes straight in to your body systems. So I thought, oh my gosh, I found the why. I found the issue. Still don't know today, to this day, could that be the issue? Yeah, could be. Whatever it was at that moment that was feeding my body full of bacteria. She pulled that baby out, got rid of all my amalgams, got my mouth all clean, and we decided not to fill that hole with an implant because I, my body was too challenged at the time to drill into my bone. So I have a flipper, I have a little tooth. So when I speak and when I laugh and when I smile, you don't see it, I don't wear it every day. It, it's, it's in my way. So that's one other thing. So I optimize my hormones. I'm seeing five holistic doctors. I have four medical doctors I'm seeing. I had a team of nine doctors, holistic and integrative. And that's my message for tonight. My big message, friends, is it takes a village, as my mom's comment was on a post that I did about my mom and dad. It's true. It takes a village. I had nine different doctors by the time I started figuring out what was going on. They all were treating me and supporting me. I had support holistically. I had support medically and guess what my support was medically the solution to keep my vision intact so that i could see my kids high school years which that was really important to me i did not want to go completely blind and so medical was necessary and i just want to say that to you because i think so many people out there are beating themselves up because they want to be holistic and they have to take medication work with the holistic have the team guess what they had to do shots. Look at my eyes. I'm going to try to look right into the camera. Do you see the droop? This one droops because it's had more work done than this one. But equally, I had to get incisions into my eyes. Yeah, they go up <laughs> under the eyelid. You pull this baby up and they do incisions into my eye. Now that's in the past. I'm hoping that I'm through it 100%. Woo -woo. I have gone from having in the past shots in each eye monthly to keep vision. Little bitty three to two, three, five cc's of steroids into the eye. They worked beautifully for me. My doctor was the specialist, is the specialist in these itises, in scleritis, uveitis, all those things. And we came up with, and she now educates around the world about my case because it helped me tremendously. It helped me have my vision. Now, how did I get through that? <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. But I did. And thank goodness for all the meditation I know. And I will revisit this video because, you guys, I just am talking here. I'm just being real. And so I'll revisit it and I'll close the loops if I left anything undone with it. But what I want to leave you with is it takes a village. You've got to have a team. you got to have a team of doctors, a team of support. And I'm not talking about your friends and family because they're there too. But your team of doctor support, holistic and medical. So if you only have medical doctors, look for that holistic doctor. If you only have holistic doctors, get that medical doctor on your team as well. One that you can talk to that will work with your holistic doctors or at least accept what you want to do holistically. All my doctors. And you know what another thing is? If I can't page, email, or text a doctor to get answers when I need it, they're not my doctor. Do you hear me? I want complete communication because I'm advocating my life. I'm advocating my health. So your team that you can contact, your team that you can be with is my message for tonight. And the other message, now I'm going to forget it. See, I got to close this loop. Hold on. <laughs> I got all excited about my doctors and thinking about my doctors. What was my other one? Somebody help me out. <laughs> Give me a thing. There was another thing I said. The team that takes a village. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I can't think. I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to revisit it and I'll put those messages in the text, but I just completely lost my train of thought because of thinking of these wonderful doctors, holistic and medical, maybe that's just all I'm supposed to say tonight, is that one point that you gotta have your team. You gotta have your team of doctors. Oh, meditation, you got, that's what it is. The other part that got me through the shots was knowing my self-care and my meditation. Being a yogi and being able to meditate through those shots, I never in my wildest dreams. And my kids were in the room with me sometimes and they were like, mom, oh my goodness. I can't believe you're going through what you're going through. So what they do is they take this long Q-tip and put drops in your eyes and this numbing agent on the Q-tip where they're gonna put the shot and they have to hold that Q-tip under your lid where they're gonna put the shot and you have to just concentrate on not moving and looking down and breathing in that you have the stick sticking in your eye and you have to meditate and just breathing and meditation. So you will see more and more videos that I will share with you and I have two books with Stacy Van, Mindful Breathing and Mindful Meditation through Life Science Publishers. Um, you can go to discover um, life science, I just, it's lifesciencepublishers.com get you there as well. Um, and see those books that are basic breathing and basic meditation. But if I wasn't versed in that, I don't know if I could have gotten through it because then they take you, they lift your lid, they take that out and they put it right in there. You don't feel the shot. I just want you to know there's no pain involved during the shot. You don't feel that, but you do have a needle sticking in your eye. So there's so many lessons that ha go along with this eye issue that I will have a couple more videos, but I wanna keep these short and sweet so you can share them and you can get messages from them. So it takes a village and you have your team of holistic and medical doctors that you can communicate with. And number two, start working on meditation. Start working on breathing and meditation and keep an eye open for more videos about those tools and look up those books because they're helpful. Ciao for tonight. <laughs>